This thought is pretty common, and on its face seems like a no-brainer. The idea that, how can I make myself happier? And what can I pursue that will bring me happiness? Now, setting aside for a moment the entertaining fact that you think that you can even assume to know what will make you any certain way is interesting. But I think that there are a couple of things that are actually a grander pursuit that will actually let you sort of leapfrog the happiness trap and get to an even more welcomed state. One of those sort of realizations or tweaks in your framework of how you view life and the world around you would be to understand everything that's happening in existence as a play. That the you that you are contemplating isn't the actual you insofar as there is a you that is putting on a show for itself to have different experiences and to, I guess, to put it in a simplistic way, not be bored to death. And in this sense, if everything is a play and is a drama, then you understand just from having seen TV shows and movies and theater, and even the feeling that you get from different types of songs, you understand that there is a range of these things. Some songs are happy songs, just like there are happy movies. Sometimes there are thrillers or dramas or dramedies <laughs> or suspense films. And all of these things provide some type of experience that's unique to itself. And that within that experience, you get a broad range of emotions, but that because you know in, in your current state, because you know that you are watching a movie and that there's not really some sort of existential danger there, you're willing to participate and go through a myriad of feelings and sometimes those are very scary feelings or very sad feelings, but you're willing to go through it because in part you know that it's happening as a projection in front of you. And if you can translate that into what you view as your real world or your normal life, and we'll talk about those terms another time, but if you can bring in that same concept of this is an illusion, the purpose here is to experience this broad range of things and activities and interactions and engagements and to have that full spectrum of feeling and thought and emotion and to go through those things. In that way, that is a better, more enriching ecosystem in which to exist instead of just this one singular pinpoint of, I want that one feeling. Now, the other one that is sort of similar, but I would say different, is if you were to work your way to alignment with the Tao. And what I mean by this in sort of more modern language is flow. So in a similar way, everything is happening. And as long as you are experiencing this life in this world, you are going to have some type of experience. Even if you're sitting alone in your room with the lights off and no sounds on, and you're having that type of experience, that is still an experience that you're having. There's feelings that are going to come along with that. There's sensations that are going to come along with that. And it is an experience still. And so in this way, if you're able to let go of the want or the craving or the pursuit or the expectation that the predominant force in your life should be happiness or that that's a noble pursuit in some way, this is a level above that in the sense of you are letting go 
of your need to have a death grip on the actions of yourself and others and try to force your way through the world. As you try to influence others, as you try to predict what they're going to do, as you have a long list of expectations of how they should be and why and where and when, those things are going to lead to disappointment, disaster, loneliness, depression, a whole slew of things that are probably not often happiness. And so thinking to yourself, this is all in motion. Everything here is in motion and it's flowing and it's happening and there is certainly no changing that. And so if there's a way that you can find to flow with it, which is in itself a little bit of a trap, and let me just acknowledge that, that you trying to flow is, in essence, the opposite of how to flow. You need to release that try, and you just need to emerge into the flow, or submerge into the flow, maybe. But this is part of the challenge of trying to communicate these ideas with words that are limited in their accuracy in terms of what we're trying to actually convey. But to the extent to which it does make sense, those are two things that I would strongly suggest at least considering and seeing if either of them speak to you. Going with the flow and flowing through your life as one, and then you could do these two together or you could do them separately. And then the other one is acknowledging that this is all a temporary illusion, and that you are an actor in a play or in a movie that has scripts and lines and interactions that are all completely, I was going to say off script, but in actuality, what they are is improv. This entire play is an improv, and that's the purpose. That's how you have an opportunity to, to get surprised. Surprise yourself, surprise others. That's how you get the opportunity to have things occur in your life that you're not prepared for. You wouldn't be able to have those experiences if you knew all of the scenes and the setting and the lines of yourself and the others that you will encounter. It's an improv. And you have an opportunity to flow through the improv. And that might mean that it doesn't always seem or feel happy. But this I'm telling you, is a level above just that pure, raw seeking of emotion and pleasure that you find when you feel happiness and joy.